Well, hello everyone. This is Carrie Beck with How to Homeschool My Child. Facebook, oh my gosh. It says live, little red button up there, and then the little thing's just going like this, and all of a sudden it's two seconds, and I'm like, yeah, you're not really live. All right, let me just make sure here on the phone. Hey, I am so excited to be here today because I get to share my story. It's been a while since I've actually shared a, a story out of my business, and so I was sort of excited to do this. You know, I've been giving you a lot of free um, resources on creating digital courses, and I thought, well, why don't you share your story so people can see your ups and downs. I actually going to share five mistakes that I made and then some of the solutions that I made to actually overcome them. And so I just think this might help you take a step back and see what's possible and see if a digital course would help your business. I know it has helped mine tremendously. If you are here, whether you're here on the live or the replay, leave a comment and let me know. Do you have a course? Or do you have one in mind? So if you have a course or you're thinking of one, put yes. And then if you're willing to share the topic, go ahead and do that. I have had a lot of courses over, the, especially the last several years. Um, I have one called Approaches to Christian Homeschooling, one about love of learning, one about critical thinking skills, and one about raising leaders, not followers. And so I've got a lot of courses out there, but I have done a lot of things differently this year. So let me go all the way back to 2003. I have to remember my years. Let me put my notes right there. Um, and I'm going to watch and see if any of y'all tell me um, if you have a course, because I hope you will at least share. I would love to know if you do. So um, back in 2003, I read a book called Thomas Jefferson Education. Actually, Andrew Pudua gave it to me and said, Carrie, you should carry this in your store. And that was back when we actually shipped products. So I did, and I just told everyone about it. I, it, it really helped me in my, the way that I homeschooled. But a lot of my readers and followers said, well, it's not from a Christian perspective. And so they wouldn't read it. So I outlined and recorded the first edition of Raising Leaders, Not Followers. What I basically did was I outlined it, I would record with a little audio recorder, and then I had it transcribed, and then I went through and actually edited it and turned it into a little ebook. So over the next 10 years, I have sold that information in a variety of ways. Some of it's just the basic information that I shared on that audio. Um, then I sold it as individual ebooks. I've sold individual paperbacks, a variety of topics, all within leadership education. Then I started bundling these ebooks together and sold them with audios and videos and ebooks and PDFs. So I did a whole bunch of different things, and that was probably over a 10 year period. But my mistake number one was this I didn't make it easy for my readers or my buyers, customers to consume. It was overwhelming. They didn't really have a plan on how to consume it. So that was one mistake that I made. Now, next, um, we're fast forwarding about 11 years, 2017. I actually took all that information and I had lots of videos and I had, um, well, actually I had three main videos, three main eBooks, PDFs, that type of thing. I turned it into an email course with weekly lessons. And I would say, okay, go in and um, watch from minute 132 to minute 427, and we're gonna talk about this topic. Here are your review questions. Here's the part of the book that you need to go over. And it was an independent study type thing. But again, it was a little consuming. It was hard to follow. Not only was I doing that for racing leaders, I was doing that for approaches to Christian homeschooling and love of learning and critical thinking. I was doing it for all of them. I alternated my promotions so that I might do one here and then a little bit later, a few weeks later, a month later, I do the next one. And all year long, I had all these promotions. So my mistake number two was I did not focus on one course. And I really think that had a lot to do with not making a lot of money because I was Oh, I, got a, I thought the more courses I had, the more money I would make. That was a mistake. All right. Then I kept going along. I had a bunch of lead magnets, and they would all come into my general list, but nothing specific that was directed to raising leaders, not followers. So mistake number three is I didn't have a real marketing funnel that followed a proven plan. 
So that is another mistake that I would make. I did correct that mistake in about 2019. I created a welcome series. So when no matter what, pretty much any lead magnet led to this welcome series. And in that welcome series, um, I used my, lo my love of learning course as an entry to raising leaders, not followers. The problem was there, was, there wasn't enough build up, there wasn't enough follow up, and it, I really never got the connection between love of learning and then eventually selling it. So I still wasn't even really using a proven marketing funnel that would really work. Um, throughout all of this time, from bundles to e-courses, I was selling this course for $27.37.47. That is too cheap for what I was doing. Price was way too low for the value I was offering. So that was mistake number four, discounting. I kept dis I said, oh, it's 97, but on this webinar, you can get it for 37 or whatever I did. That's not good either because it was value. And I wasn't making that much money from all of this. So in 2021, yes, just a year ago, at the very beginning of the year, I decided I was gonna re-record all of my stuff and chop it into individual videos for each week. So I was on the right track, all right? But the problem was it ended up being 12 weeks long. Oh my goodness, that is way too much information and too much time. So I did invite them to the live record, the live sessions, so I would record it with them, um, or they could get, they had lifetime access to the whole recording. So that was 2021 in the springtime. Mistake number five, 12 weeks is too long for homeschool moms to consume and implement information to apply. It's really too long for any niche or any industry. I just think maybe six weeks, eight at the most, but six is a nice number depending on the content. Some things you could probably do in three weeks, two weeks, and make a really short digital course. So those are my five mistakes that I've made. How did I overcome them? Well, that was in the spring of last year, so about a year and a half ago. Move forward to September 2021, I actually invested in a proven plan. I was like, Carrie, you started this, you know you got this full time, why are, you, why are you messing with this? Why are you trying to figure this out all on your own? Just follow a proven plan and put it in practice. So I did. So I invested in a course called Digital Course Academy. You may have heard about it. Um, it's only available like once a year and it's going to be available uh, this week. I knew it would be a lot of work to really revamp because I was going all the way back to zero target market. And a lot of y'all think, oh, I already know my target market. Maybe you do. I felt like I did too. And I could actually imagine someone and give you a good half page description of that person. But I went back and really evaluated that. Um, I also knew that my income and my freedom would increase if I would follow this proven plan through Digital Course Academy. So that's what I did. And I launched Racing Leaders Not Followers in January of 2022. I call it DCA style. I have all my old emails, my old webinars, my old everything. We're redoing it and we're going to do it the right way. And I can tell you that yes, it has increased my income. I've tripled my income. The year's not even over. And I tripled my income from 2021. And I still have another launch coming up at the end of this month. So it will maybe quadruple or quintuple, quintuple or whatever. Um, so that's sort of cool, I think. Now, the other thing that I would say um, is, hey, Sherry, hey, Sarah, you know, I always forget where to find people's names. So, okay, so here's another thing we did. I have more freedom because guess what? I am launching on, I think it's the 20th, whatever that Tuesday is of September, around the 20th. The week before my launch, I am going on vacation to Savannah, Georgia. I have gained the freedom to be able to launch this thing with a system that actually works. Now, I, I normally wouldn't be able to do that, but this week, We'll get everything in place, it'll be ready, and I won't have to mess with it when I come home. 
we'll be ready now. That doesn't mean I won't pop on and just interact with people every once in a while. But I am not going to be spending five to six hours or even two or three hours a day working on getting ready for that launch in the middle of September. Why? Because once you launch it correctly, it's wash, rinse, repeat. Now, there are a few things that I had to do when, before I invested in Digital Course Academy. So here are some things. A lot of it had to do with my mind, my mindset, because I wanted to correct these problems. I knew I wasn't selling it for the right price. I knew that I had some marketing funnel issues. So what did I do? I thought, okay, I'm gonna follow a proven plan. That was mistake number three. And I'm gonna do it and I will recoup my investment during the first launch. And I did. I, in, I recouped my entire investment through the launch. I also discovered how to make it easy to consume and to get rid of the unnecessary stuff. That was my mistakes number one and number five. I increased the price, believe it or not, I increased it from, what was I, 27, 37, 47? I increased it to $197 and I have moms buying it. That was my mistake number four. Then I focused on one course all year long. Now, people have bought my love of learning because it's sitting in my store. People have bought approaches and critical thinking. They bought some of that, but I am not launching different things all year long. I am focusing on one course this entire year. This allowed me the opportunity to improve my launches. I also have a group of people that I had to help me as well. People I can ask questions that have gone through Digital Course Academy, so that's good. This year, I will do two full launches. I did one in January and one in May, and then I'm doing two soft launches in um, March, and then this one in September will be a soft launch. I believe DCA showed me how to revamp this to help my moms to find success, to find transformation in their life. It also helped me to be able to go get transformation stories that I didn't have. I mean, I had people saying, this work, this is so good, yes, I love it, blah, blah, blah. But people that would say, here is where I was and here is where I am now after doing Racing Leaders. DCA showed me how to do that as well. I also, like I said, we had, uh, have accountability pods, meaning I have people that understand the terminology, the marketing funnels, and all of that, people that I could actually go talk to. Uh, let's see, what else? I could sell the product without discounting. A lot of people in the homeschool market, they have a limiting belief thinking that they can't sell a product for very much money, and you can. And you don't have to use a coupon code all of the time. All right. In January, I discovered I sold an independent study for $147. I only had one or two people take it, and everyone else bought the, uh, the VIP one, and that was at $197. Well, there's one lesson. I quit selling the $147. What's the point? So there are some things. Um, I set up a webinar that truly sells. All right. I've been using webinars since 2006, and I did have a system. It's not like I don't ha didn't have a system, but I have improved my system in so many ways you would not believe. I believe that um, this DCA plan totally works as well. I also I also knew that you need to prep your your people for your launch. You just don't go send an email and then launch it. I knew that. But I have learned a whole new system on how to do that, how to make specific lead magnets that grow my list and the right people on the list, and how to give regular content of value that will be the people that will buy your product. I learned all of that in DCA. I also learned how to pre-sell it. I made money before I ever created the new Raising Leaders Not Followers. I made money before I ever launched my course. That was pretty cool. So, and that helped pay for DCA as well. I launched my course, even though none of it was created. None of it, maybe less than one, module one, maybe that, but that was it, all right? I also launched my course. I, in this, I also found better email templates 
better webinar slide templates, social media templates that I could just plug and play, I didn't have to think about it, and sales page templates that were so much better than what I was doing. I understand copywriting, but sometimes it's just nice to have a template that I could go from. And I know you're thinking, oh, Carrie, I can't afford DCA. Well, to be honest, I really couldn't afford it either, but I really couldn't afford to not invest in DCA. So I made a little deal with myself. I said, I am going to put, I'm going to, my focus in the fall, I'm going to focus, I'm going to put the time and the effort to recoup the money for my, on my first launch. And it was a lot of time, but it was well worth it. I figured, why well, try to figure this out all by myself? Because that is just not really working. Um, well, it was, and it's not that it wasn't making money. It just wasn't making as much as I thought we could. And obviously I was right. I also wanted to help, um, my mom succeed better and I felt like I was not really helping them as much as I could and I also wanted to help my family EBS people I wanted to be able to share some of the things that I was learning as well so those are just a few things I will just tell you it launches on Wednesday I have to remember what day it launches so that's on Wednesday September 8th but today I get the privilege of telling you a little bit about something that I'm going to be offering for anyone that actually I just tell you one pray about it think about it talk to your spouse about it it is a huge investment but I am not sorry Amy Porterfield over delivers in ways I never even realized I mean some of y'all know I got to interview her who does that with someone they don't even really know? She over delivers. She is constantly over delivering. And I just continue to learn more and more from her. And I do get to see things from the back door. Now, so what am I going to do? I'm going to make a bonus package. It is three live coaching calls at critical points in your course creation. It's worth $300. So the first one is your course topic. Now, before you go, I don't know. I already, I already had my topic. But there are a lot of prep things to get to the topic, to make sure you have the right person, that you're getting the right leads. You're doing a lot of things like that. So when, that, when you get to that point in DCA, we are going to have a coaching call, a group coaching call, and get on and work. I want to be able to help you make sure you've made some wise decisions. Some of you feel like you've already done that. That's fine. Number two, second coaching call. We are going to go over your pre-launch strategy and your launch plan. We're going to talk about your lead magnets. Are they the right ones? Weekly content. What kind of content are you putting out there? What kind of emails? Are you using the best email strategies at the right times? And we're going to talk about your sales page. That one will be a big coaching call. And then the last one, after you've worked through your webinar um, and gone through that part of the course, then we are going to have a coaching call on webinars. And, you, and all of these, it's not just me talking. This is like interactive. I'm going to give you some ideas and then we're going to talk about what you're doing so that you can get the feedback on each of these important areas as well. And then I'm going to give you my personal webinar checklist. And so that will be something that you can make sure that you know exactly, that you've got everything to do. There are a lot of bell, not bells, a lot of moving parts. And that is something we really want to uh, check on as well. The other thing that I'm going to do is offer what we call a fast action bonus trying to get this back up here and this is for the first five people that sign up for DCA with my link I'm going to give you a one-on-one -on -one review of your course outline and your course launch um, so we you'll decide on your course and then we'll work through that one-on-one -on -one. all right that should be no more than an hour of um, coaching time with you and me together but you'll send in the information and I will tell you, if you're considering doing this at all, the number one thing, get on the class on Wednesday, live. You will get so, I got every single bonus, why? Because I bought it on the master class. I didn't hesitate because I knew I was all in and I wanted to get everything. So that meant I got the webinar bonus, got a little coffee cup, but I got the webinar bonus, I got the day bonus, I got the mid cart bonus, I got the end cart bonus, I got social media bonus. I don't even know all the bonuses, they're just all in my account. And so if you're at all considering, I would really encourage you to do this and just pay attention. See what she's putting out there. I'm going to put a link to the DCA wait list and that way you'll make sure you have everything. If you haven't signed up, where is my, oh here we go. 
let's find this. This is a link to the wait list. And so that would be the first thing that I would actually um, do. And that way you get everything. Oh, I never even. Well, I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Oh, there are my comments. I didn't see y'all. I scrolled way too far down. Okay. Anyway, I would do that. And then I can get you the webinar, the masterclass list as well. I would say whether you get DCA or not, get on that live class because you are going to get a special bonus just for showing up live. And I don't have that link right here, but I will put it here. I learned so much just from that class. She will give you, I think it's something with social media. I had the name of it. It's in my emails, I think, for today. So go look at that as well. But that would be something. If you want to actually see the um, my bonus package, I will put this link here too. And I'll be sending that out tomorrow to anyone that didn't make it to this um, live training. If y'all have questions, let me know. I should have told you that along the way. Great tip, started focusing on one product. Yes, Sarah, I know you have. You've been doing great and sort of killing it. So, um, and Sherry says not yet on course. So anyway, I just think there's a lot of things that I have known over the years, but the nicest thing is I didn't have to get myself all up to speed. I could just follow someone else's plan and then put that into practice. And I didn't have to go watching everyone else's webinars and then trying to pick out all the pieces for it. I didn't have to go look at everyone else's emails and picking out the pieces for it. It was all right there. Sales pages, you know, anatomy. I mean, like I gave our mastermind a, a training on sales page. She will give you training that's probably 10 times deeper than that so anyway those are just a few thoughts on telling you my story my mistakes and the way i solved those problems and mistakes that i made if y'all have questions leave a comment whether you are in the replay or whether you are live thanks for spending time with me let's just check so i will carry back with family ebiz talk to y'all later